So the Genshin battle being won so far out by Liquid. Liquid with a good beginning here. Shatter already at 41%. He gets to dive right to the back, going directly on the Shake, but gets slapped. Shake surviving with the slimmest of margins, and yet with hydration falling, it might not matter. Team Liquid rolling right on through and mechanically outplaying CLG to great effect. Get healed. And now you take all your TLG here. This is actually one of the better spots in the game for self-destruct, where if you throw it down the right way, you can catch multiple people. But look at that ID. Early attack fires are coming in. Fine shake. Shatter diving right in. So even if you have a self-destruct now, it would just be the stabilize rather than winning the fight cleanly. Either way, Sound Bear coming out here from Team Liquid, and they are diving in and committing. They will clean up the rest of this fight. And now, a really good chance of riding this all the way to second. It's going to be tough positioning for CLG as they come back in. A good Sound Bear in that fight. I mean... Uh... We still saw hydration looking quite menacing there as well. And, oh, you know, Rafa might not have known if there was a Dragon Blade available. Sometimes you forget that yeah. it's a self destruct. Well, hydration. Dragon Blade is up, looking to put this one away for CLG on the defense. Moves in, gets hooked, and not quite able to get as much as he's looking for here, but finally cuts down IT. And the distraction creates enough time for CLG to move in and get crucial kills. So, 15 seconds left here, Uber. Not much time for Liquid to even come back in and force overtime. No, they can barely get to the payload at all here. In fact, I'd say that's not going to happen given that there's Miso on that Diva and Ashani can get in their face. ATK is going to have to go triple blink to get there, and he has to use one of them to get towards the side. So, aggression has to happen. The boot was there though as well. No time left. We are in overtime. It was, looks like Shadow was close enough and that AZK is there. But Shadow goes down super early, so it's 5v6 off the bat. Waffle Tassa cleaning up over the top, making it three at the very end. And this is a problem when you come in with no time remaining. You can't really pay too much attention to positioning, and sometimes you will just lose three to four people from something like a tack visor over the top. So CLG able to pay the back, but Meza's not there. So that's pretty tough. CLG now diving right in, shiny, cleaving two on the bottom, hydration to the upper right, and they take down ID immediately. This is already looking good for CLG because Liquid, they're not even able to get out and contest this super heavily here right now. Mezar off on an island, he's going to fall, and CLG just, again, mechanically outplaying and should be able to get roll the first here without a whole lot of really resistance. No, that was really nice. You see, ATK was desperately trying to get onto a Waffle Tastic, but it's so much harder to kill him this round. He was trying to do what he could, but that's about it. Now the sound barrier coming into Liquid. Mana Blade could be on the menu here, Shatter, diving in, Dragon Blade out, fine shake, and it's two kills here from Team Liquid, the most life we've seen them all map long. The Nano Boost instead, going on the AZK, moving in, but Hydration picks up two in the back, making three! Hydration with the superior Dragon Blade, bringing the fight back for CLG, and Uber, they're gonna punch us right in the second. I must have missed something. Matt, if you're there, why didn't the hang Nano Boost Shatter? A bit more disheveled here on this fight than they have been, but Shatter goes down, who switched to Roadhog, it forces out the attack visor from ID, and they really would have liked to have saved this here in this fight, and it's not even going to guarantee that they take this fight, Uber. No, ID's actually getting chucked down very, very low. ACK goes down to Waffle Tastic for like the tenth time in this particular round, and Dang is desperately trying to keep ID up on his feet, but it's just not enough. Rapper now going down, ID's running out of support, so now he's running out of life. I shiny finds him, and this is put to sleep face down in front of the card. There's nothing he can do. The hang just gets crunched, and he just has a look on in dismay. Mezar trying to buy some form of time here for Team Liquid, but it is looking grimmer and grimmer as time goes on. Only four members of Team Liquid alive as they come out of the spawn door here. They're going to have the sound barrier just to get out with any form of positioning. And here they go. Four members sound barriered. They come right back out. AZK looking for anything, but it's Waffletastic. The tactical visor in over the top, aided by the Dragon Blade. Two more kills here for CLG as they just pummel Team Liquid from all sides. That's it. There's no time left. They're going to get towards the end here. This yellow square of victory. There's nothing really to be done at all. That is a storm. That attack was almost flawless. Check the breaks on that. Certainly going to be a first point hold here for CLG. So a lot on the line is ID yeah, the holding onto the grab, and he's going to drop this right in in just a moment. Oh, Earth Shatter actually came down in over that fight. There are Shiny just crack her up against the car, but that's all he can get. Shatter in the meantime is making things happen with the Dragon Blade and hang. Managed to clean up our Shiny pretty comfortably there. He's in the Graviton. He gets discorded. It's as easy as that. It was just a matter of reaching the critical mass of the right ultimates for Liquid, and they managed to break through. They did have to pay a ruining hydration oh, no, stay. This will it. not be an effective Dragon Blade. Meanwhile, Shatter still has his in reserve. 80 HP, not the greatest for using it, but look at this. They have to get on the payload. They have to sacrifice high ground to stall this out, as Shatter can drop the blade at any time. And here it is. The blade is on the way, diving up to the high ground, but 
Chatter almost confused as to where he wants to go in on here. It's not going to be super effective. Waffle drops attack visor from great positioning and picks up two, soon to be three. So take take the de defense from CLG on Gibraltar and now look at it here. And you can see the difference that I guess that you see when Waffle gets shut down as to when he doesn't. Mesa spent his entire Primer Rage trying to kill Shake up against the wall, just juggling him. But Waffle Tastic put down a Biotic Field and Shake just naded himself and he, he lived. And Mesa was just like, well, all I've done is be annoying. <laughs> I would say the biggest thing for Team Liquid is that I feel like Mezar hasn't had people going in with him at the same time. A lot of his distraction comes in early, he has to leave early, and Liquid isn't able to capitalize. That said, they're opening up with the Graviton. Both supports grabbed by that grab. ID, the support assassins, Shatter, there with the follow through, and that is three very clean kills from Team Liquid to perhaps punch through point number two. Yeah, sick Graviton, pure and simple. That was a fight winner for ID. Really, really nicely done. Just laid it straight in there at reasonable range, and it did require Shatter to actually dash towards it, but he's always a lot of responsibility levered at him. Misa takes half his health and damage before he even gets out of spawn. There's now a primal range to keep everyone inside. Dragon Blade for Shatter now as he catches hydration and he's pushed out. Everything is here for the Kavev. All the whole they shouldn't lose this fight at all. No, they shouldn't, and unfortunately for CLG, they're not really able to get out of their spawn cleanly at all. Almost every kill going the way of Team Liquid here. It's a clean wipe, and they will finish out Dorado with 19 seconds remaining, and to some extent, this is a pretty good... Of course, Shadow just started wrecking people with the Dragon Blade. CLG coming in here with Tac Visor and Sound Barrier at the ready. Gonna be on Waffle Tastic to pierce on through, but so far, not a lot of targets into sights. Almost gets Rafa to the top, getting flanked from the side, and Mezar puts an end to it right then and there. Team Liquid, though, still on the back foot. Down one player here, so try and bring it back. ID, no fear. Diving back in onto the payload, but his team is dead all around him. The dive from my shiny, too effective for Liquid to handle. Yeah, it was discorded as well. He had to deal with, what, like four or five players there, so it probably wasn't really going to work out. But that's decent for Liquid. You can be happy with that. This is a longer... Liquid's dive coordination. I think this is a perfect pick right now for CLG. Self-destruct, this could be pretty nasty into the back corner, but it doesn't find anything. Waffle-tastic on the McCree, though, a bit of a change of pace, a change of style, and it seems to have worked. Getting himself two kills, and he may as well have had three there. We get the flash in just to finish things off, and CLG cannot be stopped right now. Pushing straight forward, might counter Liquid Gaming at this stage. We nearly need to see Team Liquid set up here in this last phase. Here we go. Our shiny takes a bit of damage, and that's the Graviton coming out from Liquid. They're going to cut into the quick, but Rafa dies first. That's the Earth Shatter coming out here. A lot of CLG knocked down. Mezzo really nailed that one. Two fall to his hammer, and now the chase is on. There's a few players still here for CLG, and he's just trying to look to charge up that Graviton. He has it now, but what will he do with it? Gets two caught in there. Dahang immediately goes for the Biotic Grenade, but he still falls anyway. Miso finds ID. The Graviton allowed him to get two kills in that fight. The Sound Barrier for Liquid just trying to keep them alive, but Hydration's going to push them back off the car. He's got the whole hog. The whole hog annihilating Mezar towards the very end, creating space, going to hook and shatter as Hydration coming alive towards the very end here. Pulse bomb out from AZK, does not connect. CLG, dominant positioning here on the payload. Liquid desperately struggling to delay. Late swap on the Sombra, does not work out. And Mezar and Rafa not able to get back onto the payload as CLG does. Gets healed up. He went deep with Miso, but now he was able to back away and survive it. That's just ridiculous in and of itself. ID was discord on Ice Shiny and Miso take him down. This is a really nice opening here for CLG. Notice Ice Shiny now playing to the back of the fight and Hydration goes through with the hook. Gets the kill on Rafa. Perfect. Don't do it for CLG. Almost perfect. I would have wanted to shake the hang around, but this has been really nice. Hydration's popping off. And this is the scary part here for Liquid because even though CLG is about to run out of time, they can push a payload for as long as they can stay on it so it is really an undefined variable here where the question is not how much time the CLG have left now but how long is it going to take Team Liquid to get a full team wipe or at least get CLG off of the payload and this engage very haphazard coming in from Liquid they lose Mezar immediately and this is a risk here Uber because if this fails then they get pushed back even further that said ID coming out the nano boost on the tac visor looking for a little bit more and he's able to get his men taking down three and this should be a hold from Team Liquid right before first. Yeah, that's right. It's just nice shiny and waffle tastic now, but we see if Waffle, if he can st like rise to the challenge here, we can turn this around. Oh! Look out, Ivy and Shatter both very quickly. Now Mesa gets to the payload at the very least, but it's still a water 2v2. AZK was there for the shutdown, but Hydration's I back. Guess what? This is still going. 
this is still going. It was looking all but over there, and yet, a little bit of delay from CLG and Respawn's coming in, making this a contest. The payload still hasn't moved in a while, but Team Liquid now on the verge of getting thrown back. Self-destruct in or the top by Miso connects. Rafa out of the fight, and CLG taking from control. This overtime nightmare is not yet over for Team Liquid. No, they're going to play it. They're going to win this fight comfortably. Shank doesn't even need to transcend it here, but all they really want is his first point. And it looks like they're going to have an ATK can only stall for so long, and CLG continued. That was six stuff. Waffle Tastic kept them alive with that double kill, and the stall came in after that. Beautiful. It was looking like the gamble that Team Liquid did there paid off with being able to get in and get those kills, but the problem is, is that it would have been much easier to stop the payload in overtime from the second floor high ground but instead they try and stop it at first and get punished. Now they don't have the resources that they did before and it's much more difficult to actually come in and stop this. Yeah, Rafa died with a sound barrier before though, so we can at least use it now. This is what Liquid's gonna use. This is the impetus for their fight. They're gonna drop down. But look, ID and the hang get knocked off the high ground. ID trying to respond with attack fires, but most of it's being eaten up by me, so it's nothing he can really do. And I shot he's being so annoying. He zoned them all off into the room, and that leaves Waffle Tastic and Mikado in a 2v2 on the point, and they win that out comfortably. Both of them getting the wins there, and it's gonna keep going. Liquid have failed to do anything to really stop CLG here. This could be the series all and done. Rafa finds Ice Shiny, and that should be the trigger now to have CLG back up a little. This is a disaster here for Team Liquid because My now a lot so of their hopes and dreams have to go on the Dragon Blade coming from Shatter, and they still, even if they stop it here, have to have just as impressive as an offense coming in. CLG well on their way to winning the series as Liquid comes in and tries to end the Sword Time Nightmare. They get Miso immediately, and the Nano Blade now in play. Shatter looking to clear up the payload. That's his priority. It's two kills here so far, making it three. Team Liquid on the verge of stopping this, but so much damage was done. Yeah, that's the half. Obviously, you have a Nano Blade coming. We know what Shatter does with it there. It was pretty well assured. Liquid right now moving in. Any pickoff now would be disastrous. And Mezar leading the charge, leaping in. They get down Eye Shiny immediately. 6v5 here for Team Liquid as they take it slow and steady. Miso going to get Team Max. So the tanks of CLG taking a beating here to the flanking DPS of Team Liquid. Yeah, this is really clean by Liquid actually coming in to start this fight. ACK has been massive. The Hangs had him up two kills, if I'm not mistaken. And Shadow was also there in a big way. So that's pretty much going to be the win right there. And so if you're Liquid right now, you say, we give them this point, we set up now. Now to just win one fight, just one fight. That's all they have to do. I shiny switched off over towards Winston now. One fight is the margin here, and CLG is going to get two, if not three, attempts to get this through, which means that one of the fights they should have an alt advantage. Pulse Bomb comes out from AZK, does not connect. The Ice Shiny able to get away from that Pulse Bomb. We are now in the full overtime push as Liquid fights for their right to stay alive here in the upper bracket. Yeah, that's right. Otherwise, they're going to go down to the lower, and CLG are going to go to that upper bracket final. You see Mesa tries to dive in, it doesn't find anything, but AZK has been harassing Hydration so hard on the backside, and Waffle may have committed to this in the wrong way. He goes in with a, a Nano Visor, but there's a transcendence, but it don't matter. Shadow tries to go big in the back line, but Waffle just turns around. He had a Tac Visor and a Nano Boost. So risky, but he can't get into the fight. He can't get much damage done there. Shake gets a nice biting grenade, but Liquid, that's a clean fight for them again. Then who's won? Even though Waffle took out so many people with the Visor, the problem is that respawns are coming in for Team Liquid, and they can almost play the payload like you do if you're defending the last point on Assault Map, with stalling it out, waiting for respawns, and Waffle was in a situation where he couldn't really push forward, and eventually got outnumbered. So Team Liquid, they keep this moving over time, and ID, he, ID is on a stealth mission right now, sneaking into the room here, looking for a Graviton to catch CLG off guard. This might go underneath the bridge, depending on how he wants to do this, but no, he's going forward, drops a Grav and pulls in three, and the fall through is right there for Team Liquid. They get Ice Shiny as Shatter piles on. It's a 3k from Shatter off of the Graviton and Team Liquid on the verge of bringing this back. Two crazy overtime pushes, one after another, but Team Liquid gets it further in the end. This is such a sick game. That was very soon. And AZK is also doing some long range poking here as well, just to try and probably charge up his Pulse Bomb. He doesn't really go in too close because he fears the Roadhog. Once that hook's gone, AZK should jump in and he's going to do it right now. Dahan goes down to Waffle Tastic though in this fight, and Ice is keeping that shield up pretty nicely. This is impressive from CLG to hold. <laughs> It's a three-pronged flank here from Team Liquid, and here comes the Blade for the finish. They get one early on as Shatter, diving in, gets two before the Blade expires, and the damage has been done. That was a really nice flank coming in there from Team Liquid from multiple angles. Waffle, though, thinks he can bring it back. The Nano Visor in and on the way. Not too much in his way right now as he finds ID, but ends up getting pummeled from two other sides. AZK and Mezar going to get two kills, and now Team Liquid investing more ultimates to take this. It's both 
these teams are all in on this fight. Now, this is ballsy from CLG considering their spawn disadvantage, but Misa is here and he's quite well charged up. However, he's going to be on his own very shortly. The Discord Orb is very tough to deal with as your Roadhog, and that's pretty much going to be that. Liquid up on the point, 4 minutes 30 remain in this round, and again, ID not having to... Linda. Just in case Hydration gets trying to try to get cheeky, yeah, he's bottled out pretty quickly. The Graviton Surge comes in, but the Hang very quickly responds with the Transcendence here. I think he actually goes down to a Pulse Bomb, and now the AT Heal comes in a little bit late in that fight, so there's not really much that can be done to stop that Transcendence with ATK getting two kills. The Pulse Bomb connected with Shake. This should be Liquid pushing forward now. They need to get this done quickly, though. Oh. CLG still with options of only here. It's just a Lucio and a Tracer at this point. However, Hydration takes too much damage, can't stand the point, and as Mezrar just swats him away and off. Yeah, I mean, that was going to be it. It had to be a fairly quick fight, given the, the proximity of the respawning team. Okay, the Pulse Bomb is in, and now he's looking for clumps of targets on CLG to make this work. Dives into the back, robs the Pulse Bomb, doesn't connect. The Sound Barrier, keeping CLG plenty healthy here. They get the first two kills and start pushing right back into Team Liquid. This is so sick now. I shiny really turning up the heat. Gets ID with a charge, and now the Earthshot is going to come through from all the damage he's done in that fight. That's his second in the last couple fights, if I'm not mistaken. He's been involved in it. Overtime ticks down, and this was CLG's pick, and Liquid failed to finish. CLG's attack here has been perplexing as they all go through the mini hotel to the left. A reflected flashbang hurts him to start things out, but they commit with the sound barrier to try and roll this right through. Oh, it's, it's, it's a dead eye kill in 2017. Waffles into the back corner there with the sound barrier finds ID and I shiny on towards Rafa. This is a little bit better from CLG. Waffles staying very close to the hallway just to make sure anyone who comes through may be able to get flashed. But AZK is going to be pretty much on his own now. Meza, again, not very strong against the McCree. Gets cut down by Waffle Tastic, and AZK finds Shake. Well, this time around, CLG able to get through on the first point. So much time was burned off by Liquid, though, where if they can... Dead Eye coming out here from Waffle Tastic, zoning out Team Liquid, limiting their ability to come back in. Dahang has to blow the Transcend to get back onto the point, and here comes Team Liquid once more, diving in with the Transcend. No pickoffs, and actually rather low. It's gonna be up to Shatter. The Dragon Blade is out, gets one, looking for more, but the Transcendence gonna limit his effectiveness towards the end. Five versus five here, as CLG now breaks it wide open off of the tank play. I'm not really sure. Yeah, and Mikado's sound barrier meant a lot harder, but now the yellow square victory is close. CLG on the cusp was taking this one away. CLG, one fight away from knocking Liquid to the lower bracket. Liquid cannot falter now, but what an Earthshire from iShiny! That could have been the death knell as CLG takes the fight with style to hang the only one left. He's going to fall, and CLG has booked their berth to the upper bracket final. Very nicely played for them. It was a slow start, but they had a lot of time to work with. They didn't even have to finish the map, and then their, that Diva Self-Destruct really set them up there. That got them off and sailing, racing through the streets phase for a nice finish in a series win. I'm very impressed.